You've been working on manifesting your desire for some time, religiously visualizing and repeating affirmations for days, weeks, months, and in some cases years, but you still haven't received it. You're getting frustrated and begin to wonder, is it you? And even, does manifestation exist? Yet, you constantly hear about success stories, so what are you doing wrong? Well, by watching this video, you will have identified what is delaying your manifestation and how to fix it, allowing your desire to come to you effortlessly. To begin with, you need to remind yourself what is required to receive your desire. For every desire, the role of processes like affirmations and visualizing is only to help you remain in the state of the wish fulfilled, so that you become a new version of yourself, from a person who wants their desire to one that has. It's as if you've already climbed the mountain and are at the finish line. Why do you have to live in the end? Everything exists now, but if you experience everything at once, that would be too overwhelming. Therefore, you only see a fraction of it by what your brain filters out. What is filtered depends on your state or frequency. Why does this matter? Well, because every time you get into the desired state, different opportunities will be available to you. It's like having access to a VIP TV package. Not only this, all the dross is removed, so you only see the good stuff. But unlike a one-year subscription, where you have constant access, with manifesting, you only get access to the VIP stuff when you're predominantly in this desired state. So why does it feel so hard to stay in this state? If when you start a new job, like working in a coffee shop, to begin with, you feel totally out of place, requiring you to concentrate and focus on the simplest tasks until you develop your skills. Even familiarising yourself with the staff and your surroundings takes a conscious effort, but eventually the job becomes easy, enabling you to perform each task on autopilot then all you have to focus on are the customers because you are now a new version of yourself, one that is an expert in the job. Perform a task on autopilot, you need the subconscious mind to be reprogrammed as this controls involuntary actions like breathing and digestion. Can you imagine if you consciously thought about breathing all day? There'd be no time to do anything else. Trouble is, the subconscious mind doesn't accept instructions directly from our thoughts. Instead, it only receives communication via the conscious mind. So when you are learning something new, you are relying on your conscious mind. But this needs constant instructions to function. Because every time you have a new thought, your brain is rewiring, creating new neural pathways. When you think about the same thought over and over again, the same neurons are used, so they take less effort to fire. At this point, the subconscious mind has been impressed, so the action becomes automated. How does this relate to manifesting? Your subconscious mind controls this filter, and thus what appears in your physical world. So the aim of manifesting is to impress the subconscious mind so that it automatically works in orchestrating the people and the events that will lead you on your path to your desire without having to think about it. So the process instructs the conscious mind to impress the subconscious mind. But when your thoughts become an assumption, your desire comes to you. By now, I hope you realize that the only thing that governs how long it takes for your desire to arrive is how quickly you can impress your subconscious mind so you become a new version of yourself that has their desire. With the delay, 
has nothing to do with your current circumstances, as nothing in your physical world can prevent the arrival of your desire, unless you think it does. And the roller processes helped you get into the state of the wish fulfilled. But this is only one piece of the puzzle, because it's easy to get into the desired state whilst you are carrying out the processes. But what happens outside of these sessions? The missing key is the story you tell others, and more importantly, what you say to yourself throughout the day. You see, it doesn't matter how many affirmations you repeat each day if you spend the rest of the day moaning about your current situation, because all that does is instruct your mind to give you more of the same. Instead, think as though you already have your desire and respond the same way to others. So if your desire is a new relationship, think about how you would feel if you were already in one. You'd feel hopeful, happy, loved and passionate about life. You'd be part of a loving partnership, not alone in feeling sorry for yourself. You could also be thinking about what activities you'll be doing. When you talk to others, refrain from reverting to the old version of yourself. It's not about lying to them, it's just staying optimistic. If you feel these people are dragging you down by thinking about the current situation, try changing the subject anything to keep you remained in the wish fulfilled state. Here are some key points to help you keep on track. Throughout your day, think about whether the story you're telling the world is supporting or hindering your progress. You don't have to stop your negative thoughts, just be mindful of them and tell yourself that they are not you anymore. Then reconfirm what you want by reminding yourself who the new version of you is and think from there. In the following video, I'll identify the main themes behind these stories that may delay your manifestations, so you'll be able to remain in the state of the wish fulfilled more frequently, allowing your desires to come to you. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again.